Street. Officers responded to that location shortly before 2 a.m. for a call of a domestic violence incident. As officers were about to leave the scene, uh, discovering that the suspect was not on the scene, an officer seated in his squad car was attacked viciously by a suspect who fired uh, multiple rounds into the squad car, striking the officer multiple times. The officer, thankfully, will survive those injuries. Uh, he is being treated at a local hospital. Uh, shortly after that incident occurred, while on the scene investigating the injured officer, uh, officers heard gunshots and discovered a deceased male in a yard nearby. We believe that deceased male, 20 years of age, is the same person who shot the officer a short while earlier. The officer is a 31-year-old male with 13 years of service, and as I said, thankfully he will survive his injuries, but he did, uh, will be undergoing surgery for multiple gunshot wounds. Any uh, information on the person who shot themselves, who that was? Uh, we have not confirmed the identity, but uh, at this point we believe the person who is deceased, uh, and we believe it was a suicide, and we believe it's the same person the officers were investigating for the domestic violence incident. Is that person, do you believe, connected to that domestic violence incident, involved in that domestic violence incident? Again, this is early in the investigation, but the preliminary information indicates that the deceased male is likely the person who shot the officer. Standard policy, when there's a domestic violence call, how many officers typically respond? Uh, generally, we'll have at least uh, two officers, and in this case, we did have uh, more than one officer at the scene. Was the officer alone in the car? The officer was alone in his car when he was shot. Uh, there was at least one other officer on the scene. Can you describe that officer's injuries at all? I don't want to get into the details. He's still undergoing treatment, and we don't have all the facts. Was the officer's dri was the driver window open or closed? Again, I don't want to get into the details. I can just tell you that uh, the suspect was outside the squad car and fired rounds into the squad car, striking the officer, including striking the officer in his vest. How many times do you know? Uh, I can't tell you exactly how many times, but he was shot multiple times. Was the um, was there a body camera involved? Was there a squad camera involved in this rolling at the time? We're looking at all the evidence right now, and I can't say if we have uh, footage to uh, show this. Um, given the climate right now in the country with law enforcement on edge, kind of your reaction to when you heard the news about what happened today? Well, of course, we were shocked and uh, very worried for the officer, and this is just another example of the risks our officers take each and every day to protect these citizens. Thanks, fellas. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.